there. So um, this is a short video I'm making about this mandolin. This is a Ferrari ballback mandolin. Uh, fairly standard Neapolitan made ballback. Um, the interesting thing about the maker Ferrari is they have a, a fairly mixed reputation. They seem to uh, to have made some well-made instruments for players, uh, some really shoddy ones for uh, for the tourist market, and also a, a mixture of very ornate and very plain ones. So it's, it's it's a job to know quite what you're buying when you buy a Ferrari. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't apply to the cars, but it does to these anyway. Um, so as you can see, this is a plain one. Uh, there's not a huge amount of decoration on it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's unpleasant looking, though. I have to say it's quite a, you know honest mandolin. Um, Construction-wise, it's a bit of curate's egg. Uh, it's probably the first bowl back I've had um, that's been absolutely free of both uh, previous repairs, because you know over the course of a hundred years they they pick up all sorts of repairs, usually to the to the bowl where things are split apart. So there are no previous repairs and, and nothing new which needed doing either. Um, it's all completely solid, very well made. And also the neck is at an exemplary angle. Again, uh, normally, uh, you know, over a hundred years of use, um, you get some, uh, some pull of the neck forward and you end up running out of room for a bridge. But uh, on this one, there's there's plenty of room for a bridge and a nice low action as well. So from that point of view, it's, it's an unusually well-preserved specimen. On the other hand, uh, if I show you the headstock on this, I don't know if you, that shows up terribly well on the webcam, but whoever drilled the holes for those tuners seriously screwed up because this side is quite a bit higher up the headstock than this side and if they if they had a quality control back in those days I like to think whoever drilled those holes got all the right bollocking for that um, the other thing is if you look at where I've had to put the bridge on this it's hanging very slightly over oh dear everything's back to the front very slightly over the cant on the base side and really it should be up on the top up here rather than down here uh, but to get the thing to play in tune all the way up and down the neck that's where it's got to go so again uh, I suspect that somebody put the fingerboard on about two millimeters too far south and it should have been a bit further up that way so uh, you know I guess a bog standard factory produced bog back mandolin uh, but not a bad one for all that so let's just play with a few chords a minute Obviously it's got that real long bowl back ringing sound and that'll just go on ringing and ringing and ringing. Uh, um, work wise, as I, as I said, uh, my microphone's dipping again. This was in very good quality, when I, or very good nick when I got it, uh, so I haven't done very much to it. Uh, I've touched up a little around the neck and the headstock where the finish has been worn away. Uh, but other than that, it's the original finish. Um, the fingerboard has been re-leveled and then refretted with the original brass frets. So obviously it's playable all the way up and down. Down. 
Dann, ne? And the bridge, these uh, people call them shelf bridges. So the strings sit on a shelf that's cut into the bridge on this side and then pass through these grooves in the back. And what that means is you have some quite thin, quite fragile teeth along the back edge here, which always break off. And uh, pretty much all of them have broken off that bridge. Uh, so I've grafted a new bit of ebony along the back edge here, cut some new teeth, and there's a new bone, uh, new bone saddle as well. And and that that's really all I've done. Um, the um, the sleeve guard is the original, but as you can see, as often happens, the back end was broken off, so you can't tuck it down uh, down here anymore. So um, I've. I've just uh, hooked it through the outer strings there, so it, it protects your arm from most of the strings, but not the not the very outer ones. Sound-wise, um, it's not the best, it's not the worst that I've had. Uh, I think I prefer the Stridente mandolin slightly. Um, but I have to say, it's it's not at all unpleasant either. So uh, let's see if I can finish off by playing a few tunes, and uh, you can make your own mind up. Ferrari pullback. 